What's really going down, man? This is a style pilot, man. Today I'm gonna talk about my top five fragrances that I wear and I know women love because of the results I get. Compliments, shit like that. But there's people in general when I wear these fragrances. Now, the number one thing I'm gonna tell you guys before we even get started is you have to wear a fragrance that you like, right? Because the most uncomfortable, one of the most uncomfortable things, period, is smelling a certain way and you're not liking it. Like, you're not going to feel confident. You're not going to want to get things done. You're not going to want to talk to people. You're not going to want to interact with people. You're not going to want to be in a certain situation around a lot of people, especially if you don't know them. So, if someone purchases a fragrance for you or you purchase a fragrance that you don't like, man, like, either take it back or don't wear it. Like, that, that is the number one thing. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a, a few tips about wearing fragrances that a lot of people don't tell you about. And it's very important. All right, so we're going to start off with my number one fragrance. Wait, wait, before I even get into that, I want to let you guys know this. This is my tip. This is my number one tip about fragrances. Like, I like to wear fragrances that are more on the sweeter side of men's cologne or, like, they can come off as unisex. Because, honestly, like, you don't get dressed nice. You don't do certain things as a man to attract other men if you're straight, right? So, I like to wear stuff that will be more appealing to a woman. Does that make sense? It's more familiar to a woman's nose. So, like, if I wear a fragrance, it's going to be something. Like, I might even wear a women's fragrance sometimes. And a lot of times, with this on your skin, every fragrance that you wear is totally different. Depending on your the way your, you know, your genetics run with, you know, the way the, the cologne hits your skin. So, a, a woman's fragrance might smell extremely sweet on you, but it might not be as sweet on yourself. Does that make sense? Or, or it might not just be as sweet on you, or it might be sweet on them. Or it might smell one way with one person, and it's totally different with you because of oils from your skin, right? But the end result of what I'm saying is I like to wear fragrances that are more familiar to a woman's nose. So when they smell it, it's like, oh, my God, it smells so good, rather than wearing a regular fragrance that every dude wears like like you know uh, a bad example is like old spice or something like that it just smells like a man's man cologne like that's so boring and cliche i know you guys all have co-workers or older co-worker or a guy that wears the same fragrance all the time or he wears these musky colognes and you're like man yo like yeah like it's real cliche so I mean, you can either wear something that's going to help you stand out from the crowd to where a woman probably hasn't smelled something like that before or people around you haven't smelled that before, or you can blend right in and wear whatever the hell else everybody else is wearing. So we're going to get into my number one fragrance. My number one fragrance, I mean, not number one, but number five. And this is a list of importance to me of what I like. And this is what I, these are reactions that I get, but it's also what I like wearing the most. Like all of these fragrances that I'm going to show you, or fragrance that, fragrances that when I wear them, I always get compliments and people always say, oh man, you smell so good. What is that? Right? So number one is uh, Time for Black Orchid. Okay? Now, I don't really, honestly, like I can't, let me, let me spread it on. Honestly, I can't really tell you. It's kind of like, it kind of has like a rosy smell, but it's not too rosy, but it's kind of sweet. But then it kind of has like a, I don't know, like I'm not, I'm not into all of it. I just know this smells amazing. Like I think it's like 80 bucks, 90 bucks or something. You can get it in Sephora, you can get it in one of these like Nordstrom's and stuff like that. I think um, for sure like Neiman Marcus and stuff. But it is really worth every spray. Like, I mean, it, it might be 100 bucks for it. But I mean, nobody is going to wear it. A lot of people don't even really know about this stuff. And like I said, you don't want to smell like everyone else. Like, but this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. It's not too feminine, and it's not really musky. It's just one of those fragrances. Like, man, what are you? It's like, what are, what are you wearing? Fragrance, like, you know, it's just really smooth. All right, number two. Now, you guys might think I'm crazy when I tell you that I wear this, but I wear this a lot, 
and it's one of those things that I wear and um, um, I mix it with other things to kind of like where you can't really tell. But this fragrance, honestly, it proves my point about how women's, you know, they have an a intuition with their nose or what they smell. They're used to smelling like, you know, softer fragrances. When I wear this, I, when I go out, I mean all types of people like, oh my God, what is that? What is that? Oh, you smell so good. And this is why. Decadence. Can you see it? Marc Jacobs Decadence, man. It is a women's fragrance. And I wear the hell out of this. All the time. And it never fails. Like, it smells so good. It's really, it's a really sweet fragrance. It is kind of like, like a tart back end. Like, I don't know what the real actual terminology for the, what it smells like is. But, it's sweet and then it has like a little tart back end. But it's not like a weird twangy tart. It's just a little bit to where you just kind of like hit your nose a little bit. Bam. But I mix this with other stuff. Like I might mix these two together and it comes together extremely well. Right? But Mark Jacobs Dickens, guys, like don't be afraid. Look at this. Will that help? There we go. Maybe that help. Yeah. You will be surprised. Because like I said, when I tell you about these fragrances, it's a lot of times um, nobody really knows what you're wearing unless you tell them, right? If I tell you, if I'm wearing something and you think it smells good, you're not going to be like, oh, man, you smell, you know, like it's a woman's fragrance. Unless it's something like extremely like a Britney Spears, one of those, one of those joints from back in the day, like, you know what I mean? One of those super, 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 super feminine feminine and sweet joints with like can can or something like like that right number three it kind of has a sweet smell like dickiness too but it's more unisex like if somebody wore this around me i wouldn't know if it's a men's fragrance or not because it's sweet and smooth it is uh saint laurent tuxedo this lighting is so bad in here let me see if i can get it I gotta get my light. I gotta get my lighting right, y'all. Maybe this will help. Saint Laurent tuxedo, man. I forgot how much it is. It's really expensive for no reason, but it's really good. And I, I like. I have no problem paying for a fragrance so I don't smell like everybody else when I go out, man. That is the worst thing. Like when the one thing I try to stay away from, or what lets me know what everyone else is wearing. Like when you go out to clubs and stuff, right? Oh, it smells so good. I can't really describe it. It's sweet, but it still kind of has like a like kind of like a spicy twang to it. But <clears throat> real quick, when you guys go out to clubs and stuff, right? Even like high-end clubs or bougie clubs, when you go off in there and the restroom guy has certain fragrances in there, you need to stay away from those. Because everybody's <laughs> those are the go-tos for everybody, right? So you want to try to stay away from smelling like everyone else, regardless if it's an expensive thing or expensive a cologne or a cheap one. You don't want to smell like everybody else when you're out. And that's a prime example. When you go in there and you see uh, like cool water, aqua de Joe, like, of course, I, I mean, I have some of those as well, but I don't wear them as much now that I know about other fragrances. And now, you guys got to keep in mind with this too. I have a full actual real bottle, but... You can go on Amazon, a bunch of other places, and they'll sell you little samples. There's people around the world that work at, at some of these stores, and they take samples and stuff, and they sell them. So a lot of these fragrances that I have, I had like little small samples of them, and once I I got smell them in a the store, and then I go buy, I get a sample from them, and then once that runs out, I buy some online. They're like, you know what? I need to go ahead and invest in this bottle. And but you can get samples online for like 15 16 bucks and it it at least have a hundred sprays in it. So that's another gem. Now this cologne that I'm gonna show you, number four, right? This is probably my most manly cologne or most musky cologne. But this fragrance is the fragrance that got me into caring about smelling different. Um it's not as expensive as the other ones. But if, if when I wear this, I wear this, um, I can wear this every day. I can wear this, you know, going just out of the house. I can wear it on a date. I can wear it, um, 
shoot, I can wear it to a formal event. Um, and it stands out. Nothing smells like this to me at all. Nothing at all. But it's not, I hate like super musky fragrances. But this one right here is fire. And I think damn near anybody can afford a bottle of this. I might be saying it wrong. But it's Zegna Intense. Intenso. Listen. Listen. Take my hat off. Take it off. You talk, you talk about fire right here? Listen. Like, I like all these other fragrances, but I can always put this on. If I'm feeling weird about wearing something else or whatever, like, I have, I'm almost, this is almost gone, right? But I have another bottle. This is freaking amazing, y'all. Like, th listen, if you got, if you're a woman and you're watching this and you don't know where to get your husband or get somebody for a gift, like, this will change their life right here. Oh my God, let me just, let me spray this on, dog. Oh, this smells like Jesus. If Jesus walked up on you right now, he would smell like this right here. But yeah, I mean, it's it's this is for somebody like a kind of like a starter kit thing for people, for someone that you know, like a, like it's a man's man, but you kind of want him to stop, or you kind of want to stop wearing the same old stuff all the time. You know what I mean? Like aqua de joes and all that crap. That is a good starter right there. Now we gonna get to number one. I got a number one A. And a number one B. Okay. So we're going to start with the number one B. Now the number one B is a B because it's discontinued. You can't find it anywhere other than the internet. Other than the internet. And it's still really hard to find. The number one B. Uh, let me see this thing. Is Joe Malone. Vanilla and Anise. Can you see that? Come on. Come on. Give me focus action. Give me some focus action. Oh, man. It sucks. Does that work? It probably did. Vanilla and Anise, man. Joe Malone, Joe Malone Vanilla Anise. I have, I probably had this bottle for about seven years. Like, I probably, I spray it once. And it, it smells like vanilla. Um, But it's just so good, man. Like, Joe Malone is probably one of the best um, fragrances. And all of them are considered unisex. But Joe Malone is probably one of the best fragrance makers, period. And they use, like, really good oils and stuff like that. I don't even know how I got into Joe Malone stuff. I have a bunch of different fragrances. And I'm upset that I didn't buy a big bottle of this when it was out. But it is what it is. Now, to combine this with another one, which is lime, basil, and mandarin, Joe Malone. Can you see that? Lime, basil, and mandarin. Will you combine these two? You know, it's like Voltron. You know, it's like <laughs> it's like uh, you know, putting you know all the Captain Planet kids coming together and making Captain Planet like that. When you put those two together, nothing smells like that either. Like I, these other fragrances are dope, but when you combine those two together, that's really one of those fragrances. You're like, man, what the fuck is he? What the hell is he wearing? Like, I can't stop sniffing. Like, I, <laughs> I gotta ask this person what he's wearing. Um, and the number one. Now I I like this one. Um this fragrance is probably my favorite and it's one of my favorites and I don't um wear it much um because I kind of save it for special occasions. Um I bought a bunch of samples of it cuz I was being cheap about it, but I finally got a a little hookup um on the fragrance and this fragrance is Tom Ford Tobacco and Vanilla. You see that? Now, I I can't. I mean, it's a vanilla-ish smell. Of course, I like vanilla. I didn't know I liked vanilla smells. I used to think it was. Uh, I used to get real bad headaches, and I used to think like vanilla had like vanilla fragrances had something to do with it. I don't know where I got that from when I was younger. But this smells so amazing. I I, I can't really explain. Like it's kind of like a like a vanilla creamish. Uh, I don't know if it's like a hint of like cinnamon or something in it. I don't know. But it smells like a really good candle that you would get from somewhere. 
I don't I don't know really how to explain it, but it just smells amazing. Um and I don't wear it much. Um like the samples that I've had, I didn't even wear those too much. I probably paid like ten bucks for the samples and stuff. But this is probably my top one. It's really expensive to have this. I didn't pay for this one. Uh, I got hooked up. This was kind of like a gift. So that worked out pretty well. Most of these fragrances that, that I'm showing you guys are pretty expensive. But like, like I said, like myself, honestly, I didn't uh, initially go up, just go to the store. Like I'm gonna spend a hundred or two hundred bucks on the fragrance. I was buying the stuff online. And testing it out, and then at some point, you know, when I got a little money, I was like, okay, let me go ahead. I got a couple of gift cards. Go ahead and buy, them, right? All right. So let me give you guys, let me give you guys a couple of tips about wearing fragrances. Okay, that are very, very important that you need to do. Um, like I told you guys before, if you want to stand out from other men and what they wear, most men they go to what they know, or they go to what a salesperson tells them, or they go to what other guys are wearing, or what they see. You know um, what they see other guys wearing and stuff. They never really go outside of the box. So my advice is, if you want to smell a little bit different than other men, or you want to stand out, wear a sweeter fragrances. Women like sweeter fragrances because women like sweet fragrances on themselves, right? That only makes sense. Um, don't wear the same cologne all the time. Everybody has this one coworker. That wears the same, you know what I'm talking about. They wear the same fragrance every day. Like when you first got the job, it's like, oh, Bob in marketing, man, he smells really good. You know, and then two years later, you're like, damn, Bob, you still wearing the same fucking, <laughs> you still wearing the same cologne, dude? Goodness. So don't wear the same thing all the time. Like try to at least have, or take a day off from wearing it. Like have, try to have like three different fragrances that you wear. And take a day off from wearing cologne, period. If you work in a setting where you have coworkers every day. Because your natural scent is a lot of times from if you wash your butt. Your natural scent is the best scent. But if you're gonna wear fragrances, at least have three in rotation. And don't be afraid to mix them up, right? Sometimes. Um don't spray your cologne on like air freshener. Like my mom <laughs> my mom and my grandmother are like really old school, man. And um Whenever I buy them colognes or, or, or perfumes and stuff, the first thing they do when they take it out of the box, they don't just go here and like, mm, let me let me smell it one time. It's you don't you don't want to do that. These these are the places where you need to spray, okay, on an everyday basis. If you're going somewhere like you work in an office, you need to go here and here. Rub that together. And that's that's it. The back of your neck. That's it. Especially if you wear wear like musky clones. Right? If you're going out, out, you might go here, here, and then on your shoulders. You give hugs, right? So they're gonna be on your hugging your shoulder right here. If you're going out somewhere, let's say you're going out and you it's like a block party or something, or it's somewhere outdoors, you spray a little bit more. You might hit here, here, you know, your neck, the back, shoulder, shoulder, whatever. Right? Because you're going to be out for a while. You want it to last a little bit longer. Um, but don't. Like, that's, yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, another very important thing. Wash your butt, man. Like, clean yourself. I, I know, I, I got a, I know a guy that we used to go out with him. And uh, <laughs> he would smell like a foot and a butt with cologne on. So wash yourself. Also, wearing good lotion. Like, don't put on crappy lotion. It's not going to, when you wear a crappy lotion, man, one, it's just not good for your skin on your body. Then two, it's not going to hold the oils in there. So it's going to, your fragrance is going to roll off real quick. Um, and the last thing, too, okay, you want to be the flies motherfucker on earth, right? When you go out with them, even if you're on a date, you with your mom, you know, your sister, whoever, some random chick at the club that you're shooting at or some random person you meet out, never tell people what you're wearing. Never. Don't give, a, don't give them an advantage. You don't want their boyfriend smelling like you. 
All right. Well, anyway, that's the last thing. It's, this is already running too long. I am the Style Pilot, man. Like, comment, subscribe. My IG is the Style Pilot. Hit me up, man. It's really going down. Hey, I hope I helped you guys out and gave you some advice, though. But um, check in soon. I'm going to keep trying to put up videos at least at least once a day for the next month or so because I got so much stuff that I can put out. I got to build a catalog, man. And like I said, once I get good at this stuff, I probably start trying to edit it and figure that out. But right now, I'm just putting it out, getting used to it. But yeah, those fragrances right there, man, they keep you ahead of the game. All right. See you later. Peace out.